What is going on everybody? It's your boy TFG here coming back at you with another Minecraft video. We are back today in our how-to series where I'm going to be showing you guys everything you could possibly want to know about the fletching table. Now, if you know already, you know, I've done a couple of how-tos on like the cartography table and the loom and the smithing table up there. But today we're going to be talking about a unique one. We're going to be talking about the fletching table and the fletching table is unique because it still technically has no uses in Minecraft. If I right click it, I cannot interact with this block. There is no UI that's going to pop up that I can interact with, but that doesn't mean that the fletching table is completely useless. There are still things that you can do with this block so today I'm going to talk to you guys about everything that we know currently about the fletching table and what your options are for actually using this block so let's go ahead and talk about how to craft it first off you need four planks they can be any color they can be all the same color whatever you have in your chest and two pieces of flint on the top and then right here just to show you guys it is a stackable block up to 64 and then if I grab these right here I can show you that you can actually use it as a fuel source it will only smelt you 1.5 blocks so it's not a lot probably not what you want to use for a fuel source but you could absolutely do it so let's go over here let's talk about we're going to talk about design here design here but first off i want to tell you guys with note blocks it's actually funny because the fletching table will make a base note so check this out this is a regular note block and then this is a note block on top of a fletching table so it's just going to create a nice bass sound for you if you put it on a fletching table. So let's go over here and let's talk about some design. So when it comes to design, the top of the fletching table is not that bad. The problem is the sides. So the sides of the fletching table are fixed. So you'll see right here if I place this one and then I come around to the other side and I place it, they will still be facing in the same direction. So it's going to force you to, to get used to that. You'll see the front and the back are the same and the sides are the same, but you're still limited because you cannot rotate the block. So if you're gonna wanna use this in a design setting, you might want to cover up the sides or you might wanna put it in a floor where the sides are not seen or put it in a roof. But if you put it in a roof, you'll see right here, this is a birch plank in the middle. It completely matches with birch plank, so you won't really be able to see it at all. But this is just also to show you that there are some things you can do with this stacked up. They look kind of cool. And then from over here, you'll see this side of them. They look kind of cool. You know, you know, I used it here for a desk with a book and quill and to look like another quill. But there are other ways I'm sure you could use this, like you hung up your bow and arrow when you got home from a long day. You know, there are ways that you could use this from a de design perspective. But let's go ahead and talk about villager trading. Now, the fletching table will only naturally spawn in Minecraft in a village and it will create a Fletcher Villager. This is a max level Fletcher Villager. You'll see here, these are all of the trades. It's gonna start off with sticks, then you're gonna go to flint, string, feathers, and then tripwire hooks. Now, the big thing here is sticks. A lot of people, they wanna get emeralds by using farmer villagers, and they'll just basically make an auto pumpkin and melon farm and just trade away with all of their pumpkins and melons. But at the very beginning of the game, before you have pumpkins and melons and a farm ready to go, it's nice to be able to have a Fletcher villager nearby because all you need are sticks. Obviously, sticks are very easy to come by. There are trees everywhere in Minecraft. So, you know, at the beginning of the game, this will be a super nice way to get emeralds. You can also get enchanted bows and crossbows, but I don't really recommend doing it this way. If you really want a really good bow or crossbow, you know, you might want to go fishing to get some books or fishing to get just an enchanted bow in general. Um, but that is that for the villager trading. And then check it out over here. We have a nice range that you guys can make. The cool thing about the range is you can make it as big as you want it or as small as you want it. It's completely up to you. If you have a large space in a city, a village, or a town where you need to add something, this is a very easy and quick way to make something that is really cool. And it's kind of dynamic because you can play around with it and you can build it any way you want and you can interact with it with your bow and practice shooting and everything. It's pretty fun. And uh, you can use you know the target blocks in with the fletching tables and have small targets and big targets you know you can use hay bales uh, just to fit the theme uh, you know and you can see here I can pick up the arrows from the fletching table so it's just a nice little thing that you can do with them because of the design on the side and then you'll see over here that this is actually a flammable block so if I place some lava in here and a fletching table it will actually light on fire and then also right here you can light it on fire with a flint and steel I believe this is bedrock only though so that is everything I could find about the fletching table if this helped you guys maybe leave a like that would help me and of course, if you want to see more from me, then maybe consider sticking around with the channel and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good one.